Hello everyone, my name is SN Patil. In this video lecture, we will discuss problem on group code. Here the question is, determine the coset leader for capital N for the given parity check matrix. Also find syndrome for each coset leader and decode the word 0, 1, 0, 1. So here we apply the process here. The first step for finding the coset leader from the problem, first we calculate the n. Okay. In steps two, we prepare the table for syndrome. Okay. Here the table for syndrome and coset leader. Step three. Here we have the word received word. Suppose this is the received word. Uh, we say as a xt which is 0, 1, 0, 1. We operate this received word on the parity check matrix. We calculate we calculate xt into h. So here we get the b. b is b1, b2. Now find this word in a table. And we find its corresponding coset leader, which is epsilon. In step 4, we add this coset leader in a received word. Then, whatever output we get here, we find this output in a capital N. Okay. And the capital N is, is E H of B. Okay. And we decode the word that is X T as a B. So here for decode the word here, we find out the uh, B. Okay. Now, from the given parity check matrix, we define the function, encoding function, E from B raised to 2 to B raised to 4, B raised to 2 in which there are 2 raised to 2 element, that is 4 element. Okay. The element of the type B1, B2, that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. There are four elements in B2. Now, the function is defined as E suffix H B. B is what? B is B1, B2. And the output is B1, B2 as it is into X1 and X2. So, output is four, four digit. Okay. Now, here the H is given first row 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. The, this is the identity matrix. Okay. Now here we calculate the x1. For x1, the b1, b2, suppose this is b1, b2 is row, multiply to the first column of the only first two element, that is b1 into 1 plus b2 into 1. We get b1 plus b2. Now, X2 is equal to the B1, B2 multiplied here. That is B1 into 1 plus B2 into 0. That is the resultant is B1. Now put this value in equation 1. We get we get E suffix H B is equal to B1, B2 in bracket B1 plus B2 into B1. Now let us find the uh, images of this B2 element. The first E 0 0 E 0 0 means B is 0 0. Okay. That is first two element as it is. Then 0 plus 0, third element 0 and B1 is 0. See uh, B is equal to B1 B2 and here B1 B2 is 0 0. Now next 0 1 0 1. Here the B is 0, 1. That is B1 is 0 and B2 is 1. First two element as it is. The third one is addition. 
0 plus 1 is 1 and the fourth one is simply b1 okay that is 0 now next e of 1 0 which is first two element as it is b is 1 0 b1 is 1 and b2 is 0 third one is b1 plus b2 that is 1 and the fourth one is b1 b1 is 1 now last e of 1 1 is equal to that is b is equal to b1 b2 is equal to 1 1 b1 is 1 b2 is 1 okay first two element as it is third one is 1 plus 1 that is 0 and the fourth one is b1 okay so this is the n that is n is equal to n is equal to e suffix h b2 is equal to is equal to the first element 0 0 0 the second one is 0 1 1 0 and 1 0 1 1 and last one is 1 1 0 1 okay the first step we calculate the n here now we prepare the table now table table we prepare the table table gives the syndrome of each coset leader coset leader okay so here uh, there are uh, two columns. First is coset leader. We denote this coset leader as epsilon. And the second one is syndrome. Syndrome of each coset leader. And uh, the syndrome is obtained by E into parity check matrix. Okay. Now the question is here, which coset leader we should take here and how many coset leader we determine here. So there are, uh, see here, there are, uh, if suppose the encoding function b raised to m to b raised to n, then number of coset leader are number of coset leader is equal to 2 raised to n divided by 2 raised to m. So here the we have the mapping e suffix h b raised to 2 to b raised to 4 that is 2 raised to 4 to 2 raised to 2 that is 2 raised to 2 that is the 4. Okay. So there are 4 coset leader okay and all are the four digit which is belongs to b raised to n okay so here we take the coset leader whose weight is minimum the first we take 0 0 0 0 and this coset leader multiplied to the parity check matrix we have the parity check matrix uh, h is equal to h is equal to 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 okay now here uh, the coset leader is multiply to h now here the 0 0 0 multiply to the first column that is 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 so we get the uh, first 0. Now second uh, multiply to say the suppose this is as a row multiply to the second column again we get the 0. The first one is 0 0. Now second the minimum weight we consider 0 0 1. Its weight is 1 and the previous is its weight is 0. 
Now multiply to the first column. Hmm? This is the first one. And this now second one, multiply to the first column that is 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0. Okay. So here we get the 0. Now multiply to the second column. 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus plus 1 into 1. So we get the 1. That is we get 0, 1. Here 0, 1. Now next minimum weight 0, 0, 1, 0. And remember this coset leader not unique. Okay. Now this row multiply to the first first column that is 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0. So here 0, 0, here 1 into 1, 1. We get the 1. Now the row is multiplied to the second column. Now the row is multiplied to the second column. That is 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 0 into 1. We get here 0. That is the output is 1, 0. 1, 0. Okay. Now here uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. We require the 1, 1. So, which coset leader should be here such that after multiplying the parity check matrix, we get the 1, 1. So, there is a, the coset leader is 1, 0, 0, 0 having minimum weight. Okay, see the 1, 0, 0 multiplied to the first column. See the first element is 1. Okay, 1 into 1, 1 and remaining are 0. So that we get the 1. Similarly, the row multiplied to the second column. First is 1 into 1, 1. Remaining are the 0. Okay, so we get the 1, 1, 1. Okay, in this way, we find we find here coset leader and its corresponding syndrome. Okay, now the step third is received word. So here, received word. received word we say as a x t x suppose t is equal to which one is the received word 0 1 0 1 okay now this received word we multiplied multiplied to parity check matrix we get the syndrome okay that is the received word multiplied to parity check matrix See here the one sorry uh, 0 1 0 1 multiplied to the parity check matrix. Now calculation is here. Now here 0 into 1 0 plus 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 1 into 0. So here 1 here 0 0. So we get the 1. Now next. 0, 1, 0, 1, multiply to the second column. Multiply second column. Then we get we get 1, 0 into 1 plus 1 into 0, that is 0, plus 0 into 1 plus 1 into 1. This one and this one. Okay, the first three some 0 and the last one 1 into 1 is 1. So we get here the received word into parity check matrix we get 1 1. Okay. Now in table table in table find out this value in table which is the fourth value fourth entry. Okay. Now its corresponding is coset leader. So here the coset leader 
the coset leader is one zero zero zero. Okay. Now add this coset leader in a syndrome and find the value in a capital N. Now find. Suppose we uh, say as a this sum as a x x t plus coset leader. The x t is zero one zero one. That is the received word plus syndrome one zero zero zero. Here we get x t is equal to here one one zero one. Now we find this value. Find it in n. Okay, what is the n? See, this is the n. And this is the last one. Okay. And this value, this value is image of here h, here h, here h, here h. This value image of E suffix h11. Okay. Now I am writing here that is x we get I repeat again statement x t plus epsilon we get 1 1 0 1 and which is what e suffix h 1 1 okay it means the received word d d means decoding function likelihood decoding function okay D zero one zero one is equal to one one. We decode decode. Now this is the B. Okay, we decode X T as a B is equal to one one. Thanks for watching the video.